I'm ready to scale a tall building, ladies and gentlemen, here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Reason being is I made a video on the porch a while ago, and then I got goofed up with what I was saying. It was a good video, too, and then I got Native Americans kind of mixed up with African Americans in terms of what George Carlin said about the usage of the word or words. So, therefore, I got rid of the video. Then I came over here to start the video again. And um, I accidentally hit stop partway through, but it wasn't that far through. So I'm going to start right now and just pretend like I never made these videos that are have gone awry. Okay, ready? Go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Uh, I'm just dropping in. I'm wor still working on the game. I have 11 more questions. I get like deeply into this jazz and it's that's what takes me so long. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll learn stuff or I'll figure, how can I word this appropriately? Because, you know, some people in the lounge get upset if it's not worded a certain way or whatever. That's why I've been saying no nagging, absolutely no nagging allowed, ladies and gentlemen, about anything. I don't want to hear it's too hard. I don't want to hear it wasn't worded right. I don't want to hear it. I have been saying that lately, although I didn't say it on the video. I just made it on the porch. Okay. What I've noticed in life is, um, in terms of the esoteric or what have you, or just in general is things aren't really that hidden. It seems like, have you ever heard that saying hidden in plain sight? It seems like that's what's going on. Now, let me just take the example for the purposes of this particular video about the thing. There's a gentleman named Dr. Andrew Kaufman, K-A-U-F-M-A-N. I've been listening to him a lot lately. He is able to impart information in a way that even the layman can understand. And I really appreciate his efforts concerning the particular thing situation in which we find ourselves he um has really garnered all of his information from the official sites do you know what i'm saying and also some papers that were peer-reviewed that turned out to be absolutely uh, false by the way ladies and gentlemen i highly recommend him if you want to find out uh, some more about what's happening here uh then what else did i say hold on then i launched into um how i just get sick of the word authorities or experts and how we've all been groomed in society since we shot out of our mothers like footballs or were ripped from them like I was. Yeah, I wanted to get a little graphic there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, to, yeah, we accept authority and, and look up to experts and all that jazz. Think about it. I used to do it. I'm not, whenever I say we, I mean me or I or I used to do the same thing. So I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just telling you the facts of uh, nature here, the facts of the matter, that we have all been groomed, at least here. I'm not sure about other countries. I've never lived in one. To absolutely accept authority, obey authority, um, rely on experts, and they block out any other kind of experts that aren't promoting the mainstream narrative. Okay. Then I moved on to something about Hollywood which is a lot of people who investigate Hollywood, and you don't even have to go that far, have discovered that it really is Holly weird. And there's a lot of kind of dark things involved, frankly, with it. Even the name Hollywood has to do with like ancient Holly. And then everything's been inverted. Oh my God, I'm really going to go crazy here. Like things that used to be good are now considered to be bad or they've been taken over by a bad group by a dark group, let's just say, ladies and gentlemen. For example, the word pagan, pagan traditions, pagan this and that and the other, was like a nature thing. Everybody was in touch with it, and there's several different varieties of this, of course. But that's been made to look bad now, or it has become bad in certain circles, where, like, good things, keepers of ancient secrets, have been kind of hijacked, and then when you think of them, not very good things come to mind. All right, hang on. Okay. Getting back to things being in plain sight. Well, not really that. I'm moving on to something else. I ran a comb through my hair and over my teeth. And I'm back. I got some coffee. Uh, yeah, hold on. Another thing I mentioned on the porch is... it's a, The reason why this came to mind is because I was looking up some stuff for the game and I stumbled upon an old Hollywood actress. I don't want to say too much because it'll be in the game. It's Mae West. And a lot of times I think we sort of glorify those grand old Hollywood days and how wholesome things were and stuff like this. And it really wasn't, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with not being wholesome in a movie or whatever. 
But, you know, Mae West was quite, you know, kind of forward, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And then I mentioned the gay thing, gay. And, of course, I have nothing against gays, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody who's been with me for more than three minutes realizes that. So this is nothing bad about gays. I'm just telling you that I've heard things in the last 20 years that supposedly um, this gay stuff is more prevalent than ever in movies and all. That's true to an extent, only that like people might be a couple on a movie openly or get married or something as a gay couple. But if you go back in time, I watched a video, a, a documentary a couple years ago. I think it might have been called Gay Hollywood. Pretty sure. It shows how this has always been in play. So when people kind of glorify those days of old or what have you, it's not really the case if you are looking. I mean, a lot of the men dressed as women in the movies and stuff like that, like Bob Hope. Oh, God, we could go deep on him, but I'm not going to. And some others. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like a recent thing, but somehow we're talked into thinking it is sort of deal. And once again, I have no issues with being gay at all. In fact, some of my best friends are gay. Get it? That's an old saying, you know, kind of. But it is true. I mean, Mick is one of my best friends. He's gay. Gay, 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 gay. I've been called an honorary gay, actually, although I'm not gay. And I love to say the word gay. Gay, happy, and peppy. No, that's not right. What's a, what's a word with a song with gay in it? Gay. Um, gosh, I can't think of one at the moment. Uh, yeah. So it just, I think we do glorify the past quite a bit and think that it wasn't, that it was somehow these glory days or whatever. And some of them were like growing up. I'm glad I grew up in the 70s. I was born in the 60s. And I think we were a lot more free then. I don't think we've ever really been free, but... Holy Ghost compared to now. I really do. I mean, like, just traveling and uh, it's gotten worse as far as that goes. There's no question. So I understand that. But what I'm trying to say is I don't think that certain so-called agendas, which is another thing that's kind of, okay. I don't think it's a new thing, really, if you really go back and look. They just did it in a different kind of way. And yet we sort of long for those old... Um, black and white movie days or what have you. The acting was kind of weird too, I've noticed. Okay, I don't want to go off on a, a tangent too much here. I think that's all I said and then I got into something with Native Americans. What was it? Oh, that, um, why did I touch on them? I'm not sure. Something about uh, George Carlin. I like to take his advice on certain things and this is one of them. I'd rather say indigenous peoples or something like that because he said something along these lines. Don't quote me on this. I, it's, I'm totally paraphrasing. That it's sort of like, how dare we, like the old we, <laughs> uh, name this group after like the new name of the country kind of thing or the territory or the area when they were here first. So that kind of makes you think. I like George Carlin. He makes me think. He's dead now, but he can still make me think. I think that's all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get back to the game, and I shall leave you now at this time here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for this. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. I have some old um, TV shows behind me there, speaking of old shows and movies. Uh... There was something else I was going to say. Mm. I can't remember, so I'll just sign off. Bye.